Hello, welcome to the Soul Print Positive Energy Circle. Today we're going to be focusing and sending some positive healing energy to the border, to those poor innocent babes and children who were ripped from their parents' arms and are now truly traumatized for the rest of their life. Um, to the parents who are devastated and confused and, and, and grieving, you know, and they don't know where their children are. To the people who are working so diligently and so hard um, to work with, the, you know, the laws and immigration and trying to, you know, sort this situation out, try to find these, these the families of these kids. So... I want to just sort of really, really send some powerful energy that way because I'm very hopeful that the Biden um, immigration policies are going to be able to move ahead, and, and that's terrific, but it feels a little bit right now, energetically to me, that they're going to start getting some pushback. And so I want to um, do what we can to try to minimize that pushback. So here we go. Thank you for joining today. Thank you so much. The support this little Sunday um, endeavor we're on gets is tremendous. And I thank you so much. All right, let's get comfortable, shall we? All right, so let's take a nice deep breath in to the count of four. One, two, three, four. And out to the count of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I want you to continue focusing on that rhythmic in out breathing. If your eyes have not already fluttered closed, please allow them to do so now. And know that should you hear any sudden or loud noises in this video or in your own environment, you will hear them, but they will it will not um, distract you from your focus and concentration. Now, with every breath in, I want you to start absorbing and breathing in love, the feeling and the emotion of love. I want you to exhale hate. I want you to breathe in kindness and exhale cruelty. I want you to breathe in compassion and exhale cruelty. With every inhale, you are amplifying the highest intentions energetically. And with every exhale, you are minimizing and pushing to the side lower energy intentions or consciousness. Now, I want you to picture the southern border of the U.S. where you have a lot of immigrants trying to get in and cross the borders. I, I assume there's a lot in California. I, I'm assuming there's a great deal of it in Texas. Certainly, um, it feels like that was where a lot of the really cruel um, behavior got handed out. But I just want you to bring, you know, whatever area that you were drawn to given, the, you know, literally the map of the country, because 
wherever you're drawn to is where there is a pocket of need and a pocket of healing that needs to take place. So just take a look at the, at the you know, in your mind's eye, sort of the map of the United States and, and just see what area you're attracted to. Um, and it may surprise some of you that, you know, all of a sudden you're looking at, um, you know, Oregon or you're looking at um, somewhere in the Midwest. But again, remember that the Trump, one of the things that the Trump administration did was they sort of dispersed these kids. Okay, now, I want you to focus in on the borders. And we are going to create in our mind's eye a beautiful wand. It's a beautiful wand. And as you move that wand very gently, it creates a cascade of iridescent bubbles. In the bubbles are all of the highest consciousness choices. Love, compassion, healing, unity, acceptance, all of them, all of the positive, higher intention, energy are in, encapsulated in those bubbles. And as we're going to start waving those incredible, powerful magic wands, that produce these incredible iridescent bubbles. We're going to just start waving them very gently back and forth. And as those bubbles fall down over the area of the country that you are focusing on, as they hit the lower vibrational energy, it, it, those bubbles, there's so much of them, so many of them that they're just, they, they're able to sort of crush and destroy all of those lower intentions and those lower vibrations, the cruelty, the hate, um, the callousness, the uncaring. It's just going to start eradicating that. And we are going to send those bubbles to those people who are working so hard to try to identify and reunite families. Those people that are working so hard within the court system to challenge and reverse some of the worst decisions that came out of the Trump administration. So your energy and your focus now is going to those professionals. Some of them work for the government. Some of them work with the government. And that includes, you know, journalists who are reporting on this stuff. It, it includes the judges and the lawyers. All those people that are working so hard and have worked so hard, we're going to send them these bubbles almost to shore them up, almost to, to let them know that the fight is worth it and energetically we are behind them and we support them. And we want to fill them up with positive energy so that they're able to continue to do the work. And now we're going to shift our energy to the cages, the people in cages or any other kind of confinement, any place and space where they are being 
cruelly or harshly treated. And we're now going to, to start sending cascades of those bubbles with our wand down to those children, the babies, the toddlers, the teenagers, the young adults, and the adults. And we're going to send them these cascades of healing bubbles so that they know energetically that they are not alone. They have not been forgotten. There are good people working hard in all kinds of ways to make this situation right. And so we want to send that energy to all the people who are in any way incarcerated as a result of this and those cruel decisions, we want to send them hope and love, physical healing, mental healing, emotional healing. We want to send them compassion. And now we're going to focus our energy on those people who have been separated and now they're not even in the same country. Let us focus the, on the families, the parents, the moms, the dads, the aunts, the uncles, the grandparents, possibly even siblings who grieve because a part of their heart and soul and family was ripped away from them. And they don't know where they are or how they are. They don't know what their those children have been told, what they believe. Do those children even remember their family of origin? We want to send comfort, compassion, and healing light to those families who are struggling. There's a great deal of work that needs to be done. And we do our part energetically. We pray for the safety, the healing, the commitment, the passion that it takes and will take to reunite those families and ultimately to do what is right for those families. And it's time to drift slowly back to uh, um, an awareness. You're going to drift back into yourself and the, the map of the United States is going to recede. It's just going to sort of drift away. But you still have your wand. And I want you to take a moment and I want you to use that wand wherever you would like, whether it is people, whether it is situations, first responders, people um, who in medicine, from the researchers to the doctors in the ER, perhaps it is to a family situation, perhaps it is to something that's very personal or something that's in your community, in your country. But I want you to focus on that energy, those people, those places, those situations. And certainly focus on two or three of them if you wish. And I want you to focus and wave your magic beautiful wands that creates iridescent, high vibrational energy bubbles 
the highest and the clearest and the best intentions. I want you to wave your magic wands over those people, those places, those situations, so that the lower vibrational energy can be blanketed with that which is positive, loving, kind, healing. I want you to just take a moment and let whatever images or pictures come to mind. Use your beautiful wand and just send out a cascade of iridescent bubbles of the highest intentions. That's fabulous. And you know, it feels so good to be able to use the power of those wands and your own intentions and your own heart, your love and your compassion and spread it, send it, direct it to those places in need. It's now time to very gently drift back to your reality. Three. You're going to, all that's in front of you now is going to shimmer away. Your work is done. And you're going to start becoming more aware of your place in your physical reality. Maybe you're more aware of what you're sitting on or laying on. Perhaps there's some ambient noises that are from your space. Three. And you're very, very comfortable coming back into your body. You feel energized. You feel refreshed. And you feel that in your heart and your soul, you have accomplished an amazing, amazing amount of energy work today, too. You're clearly now back in your body. And perhaps you want to wiggle your fingers or your toes. Give your shoulder a gentle roll. But you're definitely back in your body and you feel terrific and you're ready to get on with your day. And one, open your eyes. Welcome back. You did some fabulous work today. And as usual, use this meditation, repeat this meditation and this energy work as often as you like. Thank you so much for being part of the Soul Print Positive Energy Circle. Remember, stand in your energy and stand in your light. Bye for now. <laughs>